Finally, a house. That's unlocked. Why was that so damn hard? Who takes the time to lock the door when they're evacuating? Uh, uh, <laughs> uh, didn't think I'd make it this far with how many are out there. Maybe I just might make it through this after all. Someone there? Come on. Give a guy a break here. You don't have to come out if you're nervous. You can wave a hand at me or something. I just want to know I'm not in here with another one of those things shambling around. <sighs> okay. Good. That's all I needed to know. Guns put away. Not gonna shoot. Ah, so there is the person that arm is attached to. Sorry to startle you, sweetheart. I hope you don't mind if I crash here. It's not safe going around at night. I promise, I'll be on my way at first light. Hmm? You're still looking scared. You have my word, I'm not going to do anything. Well, maybe if you have some water to spare... That would be much appreciated. If not, just a corner to sleep in is enough. Uh, oh. You're sure you're okay with giving me this? Here. I can probably get by on half the bottle. You're sure I can have the whole thing? You're friend is bringing back some more supplies. Uh, okay. If you say so, you have my gratitude. <sighs> Man, that really feels nice. My throat was starting to feel like sandpaper. Hmm? What's up? I'm Jonathan. It's nice to meet you. Good to see a face that's not trying to rip mine off for once. <laughs> Sorry, sweetheart. I'm not military. Private contractor. Well, formerly. My squad had a falling out with our employer. Hence why I'm in this messy situation. Let's just say we had a really strong disagreement with our assignment. As a result, we lost our ride out of here. My squad mates are... They're... It's alright. No need to apologize. You're correct. They're... All dead. No, not that luckily enough. We took measures to make sure none of us would turn. Speaking of other people, though, you're a friend in you. How long have you been staying here for? I'm surprised you haven't had any trouble with the undead. There isn't anything other than the fence outside, and you even left the door unlocked. Wait. Really? None of those things have gotten in because the front door is a pull door? No, I'm just surprised how sturdy that door is. Not a single one has tried to pull it open? Wow. Well, what a strangely fortuitous situation, I guess. Although if things did go bad, you probably could head upstairs and escape out a window. Did you and your friend live here before you know what happened? So, you're a couple of squatters too, huh? Well, 
I guess we're all in the same boat then. To be honest, sweetheart, I really don't know where I'm going to go next. I've just been picking a direction and going in it. I heard days ago that the infected area has been quarantined from the rest of the world. So, if there's a way out of here, I might be able to get back home. Only problem is, I've got no clue on where to start even attempting that. Guess I probably could try and seek a place to hole up until help comes, but I'm not the type that's content with sitting around waiting. Plus, from what I know, I doubt anyone on the outside is sending help in anytime soon. So, that's my plan. How about you? You're leaving it to your friend? Guess we'll know when they return. By the way, when did they say they were going to get back? Whoa. They're pretty late then. Hopefully they're okay. They left this morning, I'm assuming? A couple days ago? That's a long time being out there. Hey, mind if I ask you a bit of a personal question? God forbid it comes to pass, but say your friend doesn't come back. What are you going to do? Easy, easy. I'm not assuming anything. I just want to know if you two discuss some kind of backup plan. At the least, should you two get separated, you don't know? You sure there isn't anything? Anywhere you want to go? <sighs> all right, all right, I'll drop it. I just really hope your friend is all right. <sighs> Bottle's empty. I'd ask if you recycle. But I don't think that's relevant in our current situation. Well, I'd best be getting some shut-eye. Don't want to be drowsy when the morning comes. So, where are you okay with me settling down? <laughs> don't worry. Compared to concrete, wood floors with a little bit of carpet feels like a luxury now. What is it? Someone's at the door? Here, let me take a look. No, I'm not using the pistol. The shot will alert all the undead for three blocks. That's why I picked up this crossbow while I was moving around. Want to take a look? They're covered head to toe. I can't make out any features. The hoodie looks familiar? Wait, let's not assume anything yet. Your friend, is there something you can use to identify them? A flower necklace? <sighs> Dang it. It does look like there's something hanging off its neck, but I can't make it out from this angle. Plus, they're not reaching for the doorknob. One sec. I'm going to tap the window and see if that gets them to face this way. Flower necklace. Maybe it's just coincidence. Probably not the same color or pattern, right? I'm... I'm sorry. 
A request? What is it? You're sure? You want me to kill them? All right. Keep an eye out. I'll lure him back to the door. I'll make this quick. You might want to look away. You need to bear witness? If that's your decision, I won't say otherwise. It's done. You okay? Well, you just lost your friend, so... <sighs> yeah, you're right. Whatever that was, it wasn't them. Not anymore. But, if anything, Maybe tonight, take a moment to tell them thanks. Pretty agnostic person myself. But if there is a hereafter, it might help them rest easier. I guess it's time for bed. Don't believe there's any other undead coming this way, so we should be safe for the rest of the evening. You did good, sweetheart. I really can't see much more than that. Okay. I'm gonna turn in. Huh? What's up? You want to sleep near me? Sure thing, sweetheart. I understand. Don't worry. I don't need much sleep. So once I've rested up, I can keep watch. Listen, I know it's not much, but if you're not set on staying here, you can come with me. I know you're not sure what you're going to do now, but I don't think trying to last in this place is on that list. I don't think your friend would want that for you either. I'm not kidding. Just... Give it some thought. I'm not going to force you to make a decision now. Get some rest. And we'll talk it over in the morning. 